Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up holographic displays on your Minecraft server. So holographic displays can be multiple things. They can be some text, which can be coloured, made bold, underlined, and everything like that. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this in today's video. But first, we need to go ahead and install it. So first, we want to come to this website, which I'll leave in the description. It will take you to the holographic displays bucket page. You then want to click download latest file. Unlike other plugins, this version supports every version all the way down to 1.8. So you don't have to download a certain version for what version you're using. So if you click download latest file, it will work no matter which version of Minecraft you are using. It may ask you where you want to put it, and I'll just keep it in my downloads. And there we go, it's now completed the download. Next, we want to go back to Pebblehost. But before we do upload the plugin, we want to make sure that we are running the correct server version. So as this is a plugin, it means you want to be running a version of Minecraft that does support plugins. These versions are Paper, Spigot, and Bucket. If you're not sure how to do this, click the Dry and Pre-Install menu, click Paper, Spigot, or Bucket, and then select the version you want to use. I'm going to be using Paper, and I recommend that you do too, as it is the most optimized. So now that we have our version set up, it's time to install the plugin. So you want to go to the File Manager on the left, and once you're in here, you want to go to the Plugins folder. Once you're in here, you want to click Upload, File, and then find holographicdisplays.jar. You can then double click on it and it will start uploading. And there we go, it's already finished. So now we want to click back on the left and then restart our server. And that is the full installation process. So once we join our server, we'll now have holographic displays. All right, so we can now join our server. All right, so we are now in the server. And now I want to show you a few commands which are pretty much essential if you do want to be using the holographic displays plugin. Just know that this isn't going to be all the commands, just a few to get you started. But the first one you need to know is slash hd help. You can also do slash hollow instead of hd, so slash hollow help, but I would recommend doing slash hd as it is just much quicker. So slash hd and then help. And there we go, we now get a list of all the commands we can use with this plugin. You can also just click the command and it will type it in for you. But anyway, the first one we're going to start with is slash hd create. This will make a hologram. So we can just click the command, it will type it in, then we can just remove the rest. So we just have slash hd create. So after create, do you want to put the name of the hologram? We'll just keep this simple and put one. Then put a space. And then after this will be the text that you want in the hologram. So as you can see, I've typed in, this is the desert. And if I press enter, we now have a hologram which spawns at our feet, which says this is the desert. And of course, we can move around and it follows us no matter where we go. If you fly above it, it does that. You can pretty much always read what it says. So the next thing I'm going to show is how to edit them. So you want to do slash HD edit and then the name of the hologram. So I set this hologram's name to one. So I just do slash HD edit one. And if I do that, it brings up a new menu of all the commands that I can use. Now the first one we'll start with is how to add another line. So we'll do this one, we'll click on it, and we'll remove the last bit of the text. So now we put in what we want to go in the line under this. All right, so I've now typed in, thanks for choosing Pebble Host, and now I'm gonna press enter. And as you can see, we now have two lines, and it says this is the desert, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. So it's really, really easy to do. So that is the very, very simple type of hologram. I'm now going to show you how you can make coloured ones. So let's say you wanted to make a coloured hologram. As you can see on screen right now, there is a bunch of different colours with a bunch of different colour codes. You will need these colour codes in order to set colours on holograms. So pause the video and pick the colour codes for the colours that you want. The colour codes are the letters in white. So it will have the AND symbol and then a letter or a number. So let's say I wanted to do gold. We could simply do slash hd create and then the name of the hologram this doesn't matter we'll just put two for simplicity and then the text but before the text you want to put the and symbol and then six if you wanted to do gold so immediately after the six without a space we want to put the text that we want so i'll just type in this is gold and then now if i press enter as you can see we now have a golden hologram and there we go so it's really really easy to do these if maybe you don't like this color you don't actually have to create a new hologram, you can simply just edit the colour. 
So if you just want to edit, you can do slash HD edit and then the name of the hologram. So my hologram was called two. Then I'll bring up this menu, which you want to go to slash HD set line, which will be the third one down. Then you can click it and remove the line number and new text. So this is gold as it is only a single line. It will just be line one. If it was the one we did earlier where it has two lines, the top line will be line one, the bottom line will be line two. So now we have line one set, we can then do a space and type in what we want. But let's say we wanted a different color instead, we could do the and symbol and then maybe three. So this should be dark aqua. And then I can type in some text. This is dark aqua. Then I press enter. And as you can see, it's edited the current one to this exact text. But let's say the color you wanted isn't in that color code list. You can also pick a color with its hex code. So on Google, you can just search in hex color picker. And then you can slide this and pick the exact sort of color that you want. So let's say I wanted to make a light red. We can go to red and go here. And as you can see, this is quite a light red. And then under it, it says hex and then has a code right here. We then want to click the copy icon just to the right. So we now have copied this code and then we'll make a new hologram. So we can do slash HD create a hologram name. Once again, it doesn't matter. We'll just make it three. And then before the type, you want to put the and symbol and then press control V to paste in the color code that we copied from Google. And then after that, without a space, you want to put your text. So I've typed in, this is light red. And now if I press enter, as you can see, we now have some light red text with the exact color that I picked on Google. Do just note that if you are doing custom colors, it only works on 1.16 and above. So if you are using a version less than 1.16, you will have to use the colors that I showed on screen earlier. So you may have seen in some servers that they often have a lot of rainbow text. And now I'm gonna show you how you can make that as well. So you want to type in slash HD, create, then a name, we'll make this four, and then you want to put the and symbol, and then a U. And then after the U, you want to put your text. So I've typed in, this is rainbow. I can now press enter, and as you can see, we now have some rainbow text. I'm now gonna show you how to do bold and underlining. So to do bold, we want to do slash HD, create a hologram name, we'll make this five as it is our fifth hologram. And then you want to do the and symbol, and then an L. Make sure you do an L and not an I. Once you've done the L, you can type in your text. So I've typed in, this is bold text. I can now press enter. And as you can see, this text is a lot thicker than this. So now I'm going to show you what underlining. So you do slash HD, create, then hologram name. We'll make this six. And then the and symbol, and then the letter N. And then after the N, you want your text. So I've typed in underline text and I can now press enter. And as you can see, it is underlined. And then there's gonna be one last thing which I'm gonna show you, which is essentially scrambled letters. So once again, we'll do slash HD, create, then the name, we'll make this seven, the and symbol, and then K. And then after the K, you want to put your text. I've typed in scrambled, and now if you press enter, it doesn't really matter what you put, just as long as it's the same amount of letters. As obviously, you can't really read that. So let's say I wanted to have a hologram which said the amount of players currently online on the server. If I do slash HD, create, then the name of a hologram will make this 12. Then you can type your text in, so I'm just going to put like, players online. And then after that, you want to put one of these brackets. And then you want to put online, and then a closing bracket. And then we can press enter. All right, so currently we only have one player online. And as you can see, someone has just joined the game and the player count has now changed to two. And now two more players have joined and the player count has just changed to four. So it can be really useful in just showing how many players are on the server. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.